The Revit software can help you identify interferences between model elements by checking the elements within a single model or by checking the elements in a host model against the elements in a linked model. Let's start by linking a few Revit models to prepare for interference checking. We've opened a model of the HVAC design in Revit MEP and we'll use the Link Revit tool to link in a structural model created in Revit structure, making sure to choose the Auto Origin to Origin Positioning option. We've received a warning that nested link views from the structural model to other models that it had linked will not be displayed. Click Close to dismiss the warning. Then we'll also link in an architectural model created in Revit Architecture, again choosing Origin to Origin Position. Now elements from all three models are visible in our views. Let's open the Level 2 Ceiling Plan from the HVAC section of the browser to look at the architectural and HVAC elements. We'll also open the default 3D view in the HVAC section and zoom in to see the interaction between HVAC elements and the lighting elements in the linked model. Now let's use the Interference Report tool to look for intersections between the elements in these models. Open the Interference Check tool in the Collaborate tab, then select the elements you want to check. We'll start by comparing the current project, our HVAC host project, to the linked structural model. We'll choose all the categories of elements from the current project and look for interferences with all the categories in the structural model. Click OK to run the report. The interference report appears and lists many intersections between the ducts and ducts fittings and the structural framing elements. We can expand the items in the list to see the conflicting items. Then select an item to highlight it in the drawing area of the model. We can click the Show button to pan and zoom the open view to highlight the selected element. And we'll push the Interference Report dialog out of the way so we can get a better view of the drawing area. Return to the Interference Report dialog. Let's check out a few more conflicting items. Again, we can select an item, then click the Show button to zoom the open view to highlight the element. Let's take a look at some of the conflicting ducts. Select the duct in the list, then click Show to highlight it in the drawing area. Let's open the Level 1 Ceiling Plan in the HVAC section and change the settings to display the structural framing. We'll use the VG shortcut to open the Visibility Graphic Overrides and turn off the visibility of the linked architectural model. Let's click Apply. Switch to the Model Categories tab and adjust the visibility of the host model elements. Note that the only Revit MEP categories are listed. Let's turn on the option to show categories from all disciplines to make the structural categories available. Then we'll turn on the visibility of the structural framing elements. Click OK, and when we return to the Level 1 Ceiling Plan, we'll see the duct intersecting with the structural beam. Let's open the Level 2 Ceiling Plan view and look for other interferences. We'll use the VG shortcut to open the Visibility Graphic Overrides and set the visibility of elements in this view in a similar way. Turn off the linked model, then turn on the visibility of the structural framing. Click OK and we'll see the ducts and the beam systems of open joists. If we return to the interference report and select one of the conflicting open web joist elements in the linked model, then click Show, another conflicting open web joist will be highlighted. You can use the same method to show the interferences between many types of elements in the models, for example, flex ducts and beams. or mechanical equipment and beam systems. In a large project, the number of interferences reported when the entire project is checked can be a bit overwhelming. To make the task more manageable, it is often helpful to narrow the scope of the elements checked to stay focused on a specific area or interferences between specific categories of elements. Before we change the scope, let's save the current report as an HTML document so we can review it later. Click Export, then save the HTML file on one of your storage devices. 
An easy way to limit the scope of an interference report is to only check selected elements. Let's do a drag selection to select the elements in a small portion of this view. Then open the Interference Check tool and choose the Run Interference Report option. On the left column we'll choose the current selection and all its categories. And in the right column we'll choose the Link Structural Model and select only the Structural Framing category. Click OK to run the report. And the list of intersecting elements is much smaller and easier to focus on. Let's look at another example. We'll open the Level 1 Ceiling Plan view and adjust the visibility graphic overrides to turn on the visibility of the linked architectural model and turn off the linked structural model. We'll zoom into the retail space and run an interference report that checks the HVAC categories in the current project against the lighting fixtures in the architectural model. This report shows that two of the pendant lighting fixtures are intersecting with the round ducts. Let's resize the interference report window to move it out of the way, then select one of the conflicting light fixtures and it highlights in red in the drawing area. Scrolling down the list in the interference report, let's select the other conflicting lighting fixture and it also highlights in red in the ceiling plan view. Now let's look at how we can adjust the model elements to resolve the conflicts reported in the last interference report. We'll zoom into the retail area on level 1 and use a drag selection to select the HVAC elements in the host model. With these elements selected, we can drag them away from the exterior wall and eliminate the conflict with a pendant lighting fixture. Similarly, we can zoom in and use the drag selection to select the conflicting HVAC elements at this end of the room. With the elements selected, we can drag them away from the interior wall and again eliminate a conflict with a lighting fixture. If we run the interference report again, these conflicts would no longer be reported.